What up three times, you already know who it is. It's the one and only homie Chef, aka Wings912 on IG. That's W-I-N-G-Z-Z912 on Instagram. You looking at me, we got a dope review, man. You feel me? Some a banger, a complete banger. And I just can't wait to get into it. Uh shout out to the Breakfast Club. You know what I mean? That's the local squad, group of homies, you know what I'm saying? And definitely shout out to you for viewing this. If you haven't, go ahead, hit that subscription button and hit the thumbs up. You know what I mean? Get me back right in the algorithm. Please drop a comment as well. You know what I mean? It's very well appreciated. Happy St. Patrick's Day out there. This is definitely one of those celebratory situations because this is definitely some luck of the Irish, you know? So had to rock my green for this one. I'm not even gonna waste y'all time. This shoe is amazing. It had a nice little release, you know, from the store. And then next thing you know, these are dropping on the 21st on the sneakers app. You know how we rock. First thing we do is get into the box and there's a lot with this packaging. So I'm going to go through it. You know what I'm saying? Let y'all get a good look. Let me start with the box. And the box has all kind of dope graphics inside. You know? And you'll get the close up of those. Colors read. Sale. Black. RCD Red Muslin. When I say this is some intricate packaging and the packaging inside, so dope, you know what I mean? Like got the reflection on it, but it's all good. So we already know what's going on right here. Present to you guys, none other than the Trophy Room Nike Air Jordan 1 Low Rookie Card Away. Now that we got him in here, let's get into him. Trophy Room Air Jordan 1 Retro Low OG SP Rookie Card Away delivers a color flip take on the iconic black toe Air Jordan 1. A black embroidered swoosh adorns the white leather upper contrasted by a red four foot overlay and satiny textile. The latter is accented with the tonal embroidered Trophy Room logo while a woven Nike tag graces the tongue. An embossed wings logo in a metallic gold finish shines on a black textile back tab that has Michael Jordan's signature embroidered on it as well. The low top rests on a vintage off-white midsole supported underfoot by a crimson rubber outsole. Yeah, this shoe was super sought after, EQL raffle, you know, and Trophy Room has already had a crazy history of accusations of backdooring and such, but you know, when you get an EQ raffle, I feel that is as fair as possible. I have hit EQ raffles and I've definitely missed a few, so, you know, I can't really say too much negative about it, but I feel if you got the EQ raffle involved, it's really fair and it really wasn't no backdooring, you know, but nevertheless, let's go ahead and get into this shoe. All right, so this shoe has a lot of details, so let's go ahead and get into them. The materials, first off top, you know, you have the satin, which is dope. I love the satin, you know, especially when it's used right. And I feel like with this application, with the different colors, it definitely got this one right, you know. 
that red satin and I don't want to say it's the leather it's a very soft leather it feels like a new buck almost but on the toolbox and side panels that that like white it's just it's dope man it's so dope you know what I mean the embroidered check I love the embroidered swoosh on the shoe highly amazing and then on the heel you got the Jordan wings in gold with his, his signature embroidered on this dope material it's like a woven tapestry type of pattern I'm loving that the sock liner is cool too you know it's nice and smooth definitely like how that feels this shoe is amazing the sail midsole going right into that nice varsity red outer sole definitely a clean clean shoe like it's well put together amazing for OG I really like this idea and these were very hard to come by, you know, but you know, good networking and good friends, you know what I'm saying? Definitely helped make this happen. Now, I saw a lot of backlash on the internet. People were very upset once they got them in hand. They didn't like the satin, but me personally, I love the satin. I think people are having a big issue with the shine on it, but the shine on the satin sets it off for me and gives it just a nice chic sheen look, you know? So there's no complaints here, you know? These were out for raffle since last week Monday you could sign up uh, until the 13th and then they announced everything after it was crazy a lot of people were hurt upset but they had in store and they shipped out now sneakers are dropping these on the 21st I don't know how many pairs but I'm expecting the stock to be slim between 30 to 40 thousand at the most so yeah these are going to they're going to do some numbers you know resale is already up it dropped a little bit when they released on the 17th and 18th Resale came down a little bit, but after sneakers, I expect it to go right back up, you know? Because there's not a lot of pairs of these, and I'm sorry, but these are so worth it. Very, very amazing. And, you know, a lot of people going to talk, they trash. A lot of people don't like Jordan 1 lows. But, you know, when it comes to that retro and to get that Nike Air on the tag instead of the jump, man, they're undefeated, man. You can't beat these. And these are definitely whew, one of those great ones, you know? So these are fitting true to size, so be sure to get your size. No ifs, ands, or worries about them. They fit in just like a normal Jordan one would. And as far as resale prices go, well, this lets you know the tail of the tape. So with that information, do what you will, but I think they're gonna go up from here. Let me give y'all one more quick look before we bring the chefs out. comes to the chefs I'll give these a nine now the only reason why I'm giving them a nine is because they're lows that are highs you know but I'm learning to love the lows I like only retro OG lows but these are dope man I'm sorry you know you can't beat that with a stick I mean you know what else can you say especially when it's put together like this and you know it's it's amazing these are really good like these are really really good shoes man so let me know how y'all feel do y'all agree do you disagree get in the comments let me know did y'all hit did you get them eql how if you didn't hit eql do you think you have a good chance of hitting them on sneakers get in them comments man fire off man I'm, my ears is open man as always i definitely appreciate y'all tuning in tapping in like i said if you haven't already Hit that thumbs up, subscription, uh, and a notification bell. Just go ahead and stay tapped in because the content is coming. Reviews, uh, customizations. We got some things coming and we're going to talk more sneakers, including what Yeezy got going on. Yeezy got some things going on. We need to talk about that as well, man. But you already know, I appreciate y'all. Please spread love. 2024 has been crazy. We're one quarter of the way through and it's going to zip by before you know it. You know what I mean? We in the summer, you know what I'm saying? So, please, spread love. It's way easier to spread love than hate. Why not, man? And, uh, by any means, keep them sneakers clean. You already know the motto, man. Before you go pay resale, come here and get them details. And if I catch you lacking, understand we snatching. Dirty used shoes can get clean and flip for grails, man. 
It's real out here. Be easy. Mmm.